Hello everybody, welcome back to Inventica Angulars. Today, we're gonna talk about soft plastics. You can see behind me, I have a good variety of soft plastics. Uh, a lot of vegan bait soft plastics. That's a different video, a story behind all of that right there. Uh, let me just go and pull down this package right here for you guys. Uh, okay. So, you can tell here, these are soft plastics, okay? These are ones that I made. All the ones up there in a the clear bag, I, I made these. Um, I have quite a few in these bags right here. Um, I think I got two or three bags full. Um, each bag has 10, you guys can do the math. I have these up there because I really like them. Okay, so if a lot of you know, there is such a wide variety of soft plastics. All right, you got big bite baits here. These ones are super salted. Of course, you got the rages with the coffee scent. You got Carl's baits. Um, then you got, you know, there's so many biodills. These ones here are nice. You know, more, you know, oh, here we go. And you got different ones. These ones are from Japan. These are shrimp infused. Um, I think these are shrimp too. Like I said, oh, here we go. Then you got ones that are, you know, high floaters. You know, you got just, there's such a variety of these kind of baits that, eh. but here's my problem. So these are $1.25 at Walmart. Okay, they come in a pack of five. So you buy two, you get ten. Two dollars and fifty cents. Here in Oregon. Now we don't have tax, so it's that price. So here you've got a pack of ten on these guys, okay? These were five dollars. Okay. That's my whole entire issue. Is if I go out and I buy five dollars or six dollars, seven dollars baits, I lose them or they break. I'm gonna be kind of frustrated. Maybe myself, maybe what I'm doing wrong, or just in general, or people want to borrow my stuff and I'm running out of baits and I don't know what to do. So what I'll do is I'll buy a whole bunch of these and I'll put them in these lovely bags here that come in this, okay? It's 10 bags. So I do it two different ways. Either you can take them and put them directly in there with the bag so you know what they are, which hey, it works. It's double sealed, you know, because the way they make soft plastic is, is the chemical they use actually makes the plastic soft. That's why a lot of people talk about if you leave them in a box they bend the, the center pieces here that's why it's kind of like spraying um deet onto your headlights and it looks perfect but when you touch it it's quite sticky it's eating away the plastic so what i do is i will buy two bags and either i'll combine one bag into the other so one bag has 10 like this one or what I do is I lay all of them in here because these bags are, are pretty strong, you know, so I'll fill up my thing and I'm good to go. So this is from Walmart. I think they're $10 at least from where I am at. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots. So if you think about it, if you do 10 times 10, a hundred soft plastics you have in one bag. The cool thing about this bag, you got a nice little zipper on top here. Good hold of your pliers here. Nice little bungee cord here. <clears throat> but that's what I do. It is really up to you, but I recommend if you're not comfortable with putting your plastics in here, if you want to keep them so you know, either 
if you can't build a sticker, put it on there, write it on there. But the problem about writing with a sticker, you leave that sticky residue unless you put someone else on there. And if you write it, that means you gotta remove it. It means you gotta use a chemical to remove it. That may hurt the plastic and those bags may fail. So if you can, just put them on in there and zip them up, you know? Get yourself a variety of, of what you wanna use. You know, that's the whole other point. Like, like I said, I've got plenty of these guys right here. You know, one, they're cheaper. So I know that if I lose them, someone wants them. Oh, here you go, you need some, here. You know, like these guys right here. I mean, a dollar twenty-five. You know, that's the thing. You know, and of course, we got these little guys right here. Okay, these are uh, North Northern White plastics. Actually, pretty good. Uh, they're really soft and they're, they're really, you can tell here, fortified with a whole bunch of. Leaving gets like a how much they move you know what i mean so they're they're quite juicy these guys once i've got a big bag of them i'm just gonna put them right in right inside there i may have those and ah oh, here we go these guys i'll keep them both put them both in the same bag you know oops not those you know here's another package of them you know so i may put those ones in there you know, like these guys here, you may not want to put these in there because these are so heavily salted. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll zoom in or not. But these guys are heavily salted. You may not want those in there. You know, or you may keep these guys in, in the box they come in because, you know, these and the ratios, their box is actually pretty nice. They got a nice strong plastic next to them, you know. But I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, look at this color on this guy. Uh, just for reference, this one in here is uh, where is it? electric black and blue. I mean, come on. And then this one here, which has the blue in the bottom and the green pumpkin on the top here. This one here is called. Oops. Nope. Sorry. I don't know, maybe that's what they're gonna call it. What could be Carl, I think it is. I could be pronouncing that wrong. If I am, tell me in the comments there. But I just wanna let you guys know, you don't have to go out and buy the expensive stuff right away if you're learning. Buy this. They're really a cool thing though. Open these up and they don't smell like anything. You wanna add some scent? Put it in there? Close this guy back up and give it a good shake and put it in the fridge. Let it soak for 24 to 48 hours. Come back and that's going to be nice and juicy. Now the salt, you can't really do that because these are actually infused. Now you can put salt in the outside of them and hopefully it sticks. <clears throat> so keep that in mind when you're looking at soft baits. If you're unsure, look online, go from there. But don't go off of someone going, oh, these always catch everything. I guarantee you this one to catch you something. That may be for them, but not for you. Gugan Bates, they have their own scent, which is actually pretty nice. You know, you can't go wrong with the coffee scent. But you can scent all these yourself. You know, so keep them in mind, but these bags here are just excellent for the price how much you can fit in here and it doesn't have to be just this you can put other things in these bags that's the cool part so please hit that like button subscribe more videos to come remember if you want to go on a fishing trip or crabbing book with us today thank you guys